Hey you guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing our Christmas Clean and Decorate With Me 2021. We didn't share Christmas with us last year, so I'm really excited about this year and all that we've done so far. We're taking down fall decor in our living room, pulling out our Christmas decor, and of course, cleaning. As you guys can see, no cleaning was done before filming today. It's just as realistic as this evening gets, which it was a long one, only if I had the time to tell y'all. So while we tackle this, I'm gonna be sharing the things we have in here today and our first Christmas video this year. We didn't have very much in here as far as fall decor. We did keep it simple after moving in. So today it'll be pretty easy taking it all down and starting the decorating process. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Vantasia, and I post videos like this every week to help keep not only you, but myself uplifted and help motivate you to get it all done. As a busy wife and working mother, I tend to let all this pressure build up and it's hard to see that I'm doing enough. I've seen enough to know that we can all relate to this in some way. So it's nice to do the things that bring our family joy during the holiday season as we bring in the new year. Today we're starting with the tree. It's been up for about a week now and our kids have been itching to put the ornaments on. We only have ornaments from last year and previous years, so that's all we're gonna be adding today. We got a new tree two years ago from Walmart during Black Friday, and I was so happy because I've always wanted a flock tree and we were able to snag this for less than $200. You guys haven't seen it because we didn't share Christmas last year, and then the year we got it, it was during Christmas time and we already had a tree up. We didn't have much Christmas decor to pull out like we thought we did, but we did have enough for our living room to start the season off right. The kids helped me pull it all out. For right now to save space, we keep all of our seasonal decor in the cupboard under the stairs. It's not much space, but it is perfect for all of our decor. Tonight we're going to be stuffing the kids Santa bags with pillows so they're fluffed into a Christmas Eve. Our kids got these bags about three years ago I want to say. They were personalized for them with their names and honestly you guys they are so neat. This is a great way that Jake and I keep the Santa gifts coming and we also keep them small and meaningful so the kids don't get lost in the numbers or sizes and they also know the true meaning behind Christmas. We don't have our Christmas tree skirt as of yet. We did have one, but I've recently gotten rid of it. I wanna try to do something different this year with our Christmas tree skirt. But I went ahead and got rid of it. And for now, we're just putting the kids Christmas bags out. And it kind of hot the fact that we don't have a Christmas tree skirt. And I really love that, but we will be getting one soon. Here you go, guys. Here you go, guys. So, Gingerbread man. Yeah. We dancing. Dancing. What could I say? Oh, this is a cool card, isn't it? No, I found this first. I found that first. You found it? Oh, we yeah. got some down. Guys, what could <gasps> I found? Oh, I love this. What could I found, guys? The, the burrito. Oh, look at him. That's a girl. Here you go. 
The burrito. Let's yeah. see the burrito. Mm-hmm, it's an old candy cane. Look, it's Simon. Simon? Yes, I'm Simon. Look, there's Simon's, me. guys. That's me. Is that Jonah? Yeah. Yep, this is the year we got Simon. Jaden. We got some skate. Jaden. I have a fire truck. A fire truck? Yeah. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. Say it again, who is it? Harry Potter. <laughs> This is London. This London? Yeah. This is oh, football. Football. Oh, I got these for you. Yeah, and then we have some little snow and some stickers because we're going to make some ornaments tonight. Can I kiss it? Oh. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. If it'll focus. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. We got some Christmas here, Christmas there. This is honoring. Huh. We're gonna to listen to some Christmas songs. The eyes, oh my God. Ninja yeah. Turtle. Ninja Turtle, yes, we have to put some more eyes on him. Jaden made that I ornament made when he was two it. years I old. So that is Jaden's second year Christmas ornament. That's that's that. That. Grandma helped me made it too. Oh, he made that when he was two years old. Yeah, I think he's... And now he's seven. He's so big. Okay, so we're gonna, look at the gingerbread man. And we have little... You help me make this. That's scary. Scary. Oh my goodness, look at the little hat. The little hat. I well, this is such a cute ornament. You, of course, y'all know we have to have the camera. That's yeah. my You met that movie, right? Yep, we got this for London. This is her little camera. We also have a game for the boys. Can I play the game? Yeah. But we're just going to go ahead and start putting the ornaments on the Christmas tree. Here we are, up close. I'm gonna try out close to this one. Look at me! Okay. We're taller than the camera. We can. Yes, sir. So. Let's get up. Do the bow. Okay, so we're gonna put the Christmas tree first. Let's put this up there first. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Put the burrito on all this one. Okay, here we go. It's a. Uh, Chipotle, we go. Chipotle, we go. Thank you. The vacuum. Look at Jonah. Mom, what are you doing? You showing the Christmas tree? Huh? I want it. Ta da! We're going to make one of Put this up here so we don't. Love you for the game? Come here. Oh, Daddy. Spider-Man. Oh, oh. That was your daddy? Yeah. And Spider-Man. So as I said earlier, we only added ornaments we had from previous years. So this year we did things differently. We put up our tree together as a family, but also with their babysitter who's been in their lives for years. And then this year we added our personalized ornaments and we wanna get more to really get in that spirit. But this is what we're sharing now and I cannot wait for you guys to see the new ornaments that we have. We really love all the ornaments that we added. We really feel like they all scream us. I mean, of course, because they are personalized. One thing that we do have to do in the upcoming weeks is get London her own personalized ornaments. She did have some last year, but they broke and we don't have them now, but we'll get her some and I am excited to see what ornaments she picks out. You're welcome. 
Thank you. Oh, oh. Oh. Is that a little On this evening, we picked up some things from the Dollar Tree. Y'all know I'm always there, but we got a Christmas activity to do with the kids tonight and just to add our personal touch with the ornaments like we did in the past years. It wasn't much, but it really did put a big smile on our babies' faces while also keeping things fun and budget friendly. Tonight we got some extra elves that we're going to add some names to and then we have some clear ornaments in a candy jar along with some stickers and snow to put inside the ornaments. Tonight while we were making our ornaments, we listened to Christmas music and it was honestly so nice and peaceful. As kids, I have these memories with my parents and siblings and I'll be honest, I cherish every moment. Our mom and dad, they really did make it happen during the holidays and I look back and I just want my kids to have that joy and feeling plus more. So 
So here's the finished look. We kept it pretty simple with um, some clear ornaments. We added some snow and then we also added some Christmas trees, a bow. We had to add Frosty the Snowman and of course Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The kids thought it was pretty cool and sweet so the only thing that I have to do is go back in and add their names to the ornaments and that'll finish them off and they'll be perfect. Well, they already are perfect but you guys get what I'm saying. I love you with all of my heart Together forever, never to part I wanna be with you always Cause that is what my heart says That's what my heart says I wanna be with you always So once we were done adding our ornaments and doing all the fun things, of course I had to go back in and clean up after adding any decor. We do have a flock Christmas tree, so that means that I have a ton of like flock on the floor that I have to get clean. And then we also have to clean up our living room for the end of the night anyway. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me to go ahead and attack the mess. So here's what our living room looks like before adding any Christmas decor. It's messy, it's real, but we're gonna get it as cozy as we can with the minimal decor that we do have this year. We have switched things up a tad bit with adding the aquarium and moving the gallery wall and the clock. And even though we do love how this is set up, I will be switching things up as the year progresses to bring that style that I've always wanted to life. As you guys can see, we were really heavy on the orange during this fall season, and I honestly really loved how it all came together. Because when fall is in full effect, I immediately think of orange and red, even checkerboard. It's just my favorite vibes to see during this time. If you guys remember the house that we just moved from, we had so much wood paneling throughout our home that it was so hard to decorate exactly how I wanted to, but we did make it work and I really did love how everything turned out. But moving forward, I will be trying to get rid of all of these wood pieces to kind of bring the vision that I've always wanted to see with the gray walls and the white paneling. I really want to bring that vision to life and I'm excited to be sharing with you guys all the home updates that I have in mind. Today I went ahead and put away all of our fall decor in our Christmas tub. That way I can save space and not add any extra bins that we didn't absolutely need. Tonight I was able to pull out our Cricut machine. You guys, I was so happy because with us moving and having so many different things going on with unpacking and getting settled in, I haven't been able to just make all the crafts that I've wanted to. But with the holidays being in full effect, I've been able to find some time to sit down and get those things done and it has been so much fun. I am excited to be sharing all the projects that I've done recently here with my Cricut, but I'll be sharing that in upcoming videos, so make sure you stay tuned.
During this season, I didn't want to put away any of our decor pillows. I did use the pillows to kind of be a cushion for some of the glass items that we did have and it worked out perfect. I also didn't keep the pillows out because we already have pillows on our couch and I just need to go ahead and get pillow covers for those pillows and that'll actually end up being cheaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that route. Once I moved Simon in his couch blanket, I wanted to give it a good brush to get rid of any debris and pet fur. This is one of my methods for deep cleaning our sofa at home. Even though tonight I'm not doing this with my baking soda, vacuum, upholstery cleaner, or steamer, brushing gets the job done exactly how I needed to on this night. Our vacuum needed to be charged. I originally thought it had a full battery, but it ended up going out once I was using it. I just went ahead and started using the brush that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and it worked out perfect. I was even able to add my super cute lines to our couch, and I was so happy because they weren't vacuum lines, and I honestly think they look better. The setup of chairs and the table that we have here in our living room, this is just for now until we do get our other sofa. I didn't know if I wanted to get another sofa or if I wanted to get two chairs. The plan that I have for our living room, I am so excited to share that video with you guys because the transformation is going to be amazing. I originally couldn't decide on two chairs and a coffee table or if I should get another sofa, but I've since made my decision, so this will not be here for long. This is just temporary.
Before I add any decor tonight, I wanted to get some things wiped down. I went in with our Thieves Household Cleaner. Here lately, I've been using that along with um, essential oils or the Mrs. Myers Cleaner. I know you guys can't see it, but here on our blondes, we have so many sets of sticky fingerprints. So I wanted to go ahead and get this wiped down as well because we are going to be adding our curtains soon. So I wanted to go ahead and do it while it was fresh on my mind and I didn't have to worry about doing it whenever we added any curtains. While we are here though, the table that I have here in front of the window, I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. I do absolutely love it, but I think I'm going to be moving this to our dining room whenever we get our dining room table. Here on the other side of the living room, we have the Christmas tree. It's too big to go anywhere else, so this honestly is the perfect spot. We do love it here though because it makes us so happy walking in and seeing it. But now that I'm done cleaning the other side of the living room, I'm going to tackle this area as well. As y'all see, we have the tree flock and other things that need to go back to its own areas and get cleaned up.
To clean our floor tonight, I'm using our Old Cedar Mop paired with some Pond Saw. I haven't upgraded our everyday mop, so we've had this one for a while, but I am looking into getting a new mop, and I do love the new Old Cedar Mop that's out. I feel like they always go above and beyond with figuring out how to get things done clean, quick, and efficiently, so I am most definitely going to look into getting the new mop that they have. To finish off the night after cleaning, undecorating, and decorating our tree, I wanted to add our decor. As I said, it's not much, but it is taking us in the direction of adding a holiday spirit throughout our home. Here's a quick look at our living room before adding any decor. We only have staple decor, but as we move into the month, I'll be sharing switching things up and adding things, starting with the rug, curtains, and furniture. I'm pulling out decor from Christmas that Jake and I have had for years. One thing about Jake and myself, we will never ever buy anything that we do not feel like we can grow with. We do get rid of things and we switch things out every so often. However, anything that we buy, we try to make sure we can keep it for future events and future things. That's how we save our money and we're able to get more things as we grow. We don't just go out here and splurge. I know you guys probably expect me to say that and you probably expect that from us, but we don't splurge and that's how we're able to do more for our family and more for our children. I kept it pretty simple with our stands since they will be either moved or switched out. We had things from a Dollar Tree and a Target Dollar Spot. A few hints here and there really brought it together until we add what's next. On our coffee table, I added a few decor pieces like a candle, a light up Christmas house, and a tree paired with some snowflakes. I put it all in a cute tray just to keep it together. This is temporary but really cute. I'm going to be getting a new coffee table and it's not farmhouse style, so I'm going to have to switch up the vibe then.
So here's a quick look at all the touches that we added for Christmas and even things like our gallery wall. I don't have everything out that I want to have out for Christmas yet, but I'm really in love with how the space looks and just how it feels. A few things that we've had for years now have been set out, but I'm really happy with the outcome. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Aside from that, this is our Christmas clean and decorate of 2021 and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. you got